Coming to you live from Nashville, Tennessee, where dreams are made and fame is just a boot scoot away. It's the Nashville Entertainment Weekly Show, the new show with your host, TJ Cates. Hey everybody, this is TJ Cates with Nashville Entertainment Weekly. We're here with Brian Owens. Brian Owens with the Nashville Film Festival. Everybody's so excited about this, man. It is going to be an exciting one this year. I'm, I, I can't wait for it to start. Yeah. Well, you've been planning more than just the past month or so. This is like a year-long thing to understand you travel the world in the country and you find films to come in here. Yeah, um, the planning begins basically May. So after we're done with this one, get a little bit of sleep and then start up in May again. We start planning for 2016. So yeah, it's a year long process. Um, I always think of my programming season starts in September when I go to the Toronto Film Festival and then yeah. it ends in January uh, when I go to Sundance. And um, from there, we come back and we just kind of pick through everything that's been submitted and entered and that I've seen and um, we create a lineup. That's incredible. Yeah. It's, it's almost like you're a scout for a ball team or something. I mean, you're going out. You're not just sitting here like some cities do. They wait to see who's going to enter. You go out. You go out after the good stuff. Yeah. I mean, it's a combination. We do go through all of the entries. Oh, of course and, you do. And, yeah. Um, yeah. And then, but we, yeah, I, I like going out there and seeing what's happening elsewhere and seeing what the trends are. Um, and you can, you know, I'm not, as much as I know that our festival's awesome and that Nashville's great, you know, that doesn't mean a great filmmaker in Slovakia knows about us yet, you That's know, true. so I mean, if uh -huh. I'm traveling to these festivals, I have a chance to introduce us to uh, filmmakers from parts of the world that may just not have the same familiarity as American filmmakers do. I was out there on the film festival, the red carpet last year for all 10 days, because I just love films as a filmmaker before a small one. But um, just to go and meet these people, and they're, they're from all over the world, and yeah. here in Nashville. Yeah, we've got, you know, if, if everybody's travel plans come through, we've got uh, guests coming from Norway, from Egypt, um, filmmakers just coming from all over Italy, the UK. Um, that happens pretty much every year. Yeah, uh, you know, I, I'd like to say our budget was large enough that we could pay for everybody to come in that wanted to, but okay. we can't. But, you know, smart filmmakers budget for travel, and so uh, they do. they've got that. Marketing and, and travel is something they really need to take into consideration. Yeah. You know, the big thing everybody's excited about is a red carpet, the opening weekend. Let's talk about that. Yeah, there's going to be some great stuff. On opening night, um, our prime selection is a movie called Adult Beginners. Uh -huh. uh, stars uh, comedian Nick Kroll. Yeah. People will be familiar with him from Comedy Central's Kroll Show. Yeah, I know that is. He's yeah, funny. He's very funny. And he's going to be here with us is he really? uh, on the red Can't carpet to, to introduce the film. Uh, good guy. The movie also stars Rose Byrne, Joel McHale, Bobby Cannavale. They're not here, but Nick's here to represent the film. Yeah. Uh, we also have a short film that night from comedian Tig Notaro, if people are familiar really? with her. She's uh, done one of the most amazing routines in uh, history. <laughs> we lost our backdrop. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> it's just filmmaking. We're good. Um, but yeah, it's um, she's amazing, and she's got a short film that she made called Clown Service, and so she's going to be here to introduce that. How cool was and that? then oh, it's very exciting. Yeah. Uh, then Friday night we've got a great documentary that the world the world premiere on called Mind Game: uh, The Unquiet Journey of Shamika Holtzclaw. Any basketball fans out there are going to know her name. She was you know led yeah. the University of Tennessee women's team to three national championships. So um, they made a documentary on her. Yeah, that yeah. Well, what it's an incredible. Coach. It's very cool. She's got a great story because of. Um, what people don't know about her is that you know she fought her own battles with depression, and so this documentary is about how uh, she became a spokesperson for mental health issues within the sports community mm -hmm. and tried to remove the stigma of you know, having depression when you're a famous athlete. Um, and a lot yeah, of so she's going to be go here with us. And yeah. then the last year you premiered, I was able to be there for the night that Glenn Campbell's "I'll Be Me," and that was incredible because all the musicians, Chief Trick, Scott Morsetta, Glenn Campbell's daughter Deborah Shell came out there. Yeah, no, that was an incredible night. That was, you know, that was a on, great night. Man. Went on the you know, world premiere here, and then went on to an Oscar nomination. So that somebody, was very exciting. Somebody in Seattle or something was watching that documentary at a festival or. a theater or somewhere they're watching this week. It's like, let me shoot you the interview that we did a year ago. Yeah. Yeah. So when you bring some great things, well, I want everybody to go to the website. Let's tell the website where they can. Right. It's uh, nashfilm.org. We've made it a lot simpler. Or nashvillefilmfestival.org, but nashfilm.org is a lot easier. We, right. we found and we'll put the version. links on there for you. And it's coming up within, uh, what, 16th, 17th? We're, yeah. We're, we're open April 16th. Runs 10 days through April 25th. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. So get your tickets now. <gasps> Let's go. He ain't got your swagger. No, he ain't got that little clip.